So, good morning class. Or on sa may oras mo na lang tawanin na nga activity. I want to say to you that welcome to this discussion. So, today we will discuss a new topic which is the Jerome Berners Constructivist Theory. So, nga nung kailangan man na to siya i-discuss kasi one of the requirements as a PLE teachers is you have to have skills. So, dapat ka balo mo sa mga basic materials or basic concepts on discussing the class sa PLE. Labi na sa elementary. So, karon we will use it, it, this approach to cater the needs of your pupils soon. Number one, here are the following subtopics that we have to discuss. Jerome Berners Bibliography, Jerome Berners the, uh, Theory of Cognitive Development, also the Cognitive Development of Three Modes. We have its three parts. So, isa isa ho na discuss karon. We have inactive, iconic, and symbolic representation. And also, ang pinakanindot ng recoat na gihimo sa Jer Jerome Berners is ang spiral curriculum. Then also its principles and how uh, principles of spiral approach to the curriculum. Next is the discovery learning and what it's what are the five principles of discovery learning. So let us start. So Jerome Berner is a full Jerome Seymour Berner, uh, who was born on October 1, 1915 on New York, New York, USA, and died in June 5, 2016. So, bago-bago lang siya naman his great uh, discovery affects even karun para generation. So, he is an American psychologist and an edu educator who developed theories, aspects of cognition in young children and true strong influence of the American educational system and helped launch the field of science cognitive psychology. So, when you say cognitive psychology, or cogni uh, cognition is na asya, naka-state siya sa mental, mga, mental aspects. Next, during NAS, Berner's father was a watch watch manufacturer who died with Berner who, was, who is still 12 years old. So, with that, he studies at Duke University in Durman, North Carolina, and in Harvard University, where he received the doctorate on philosophy in 1504. So, part the young age doctor na siya. So, also that, in the later part, he established the favor to be uh, one of the prominent of a cognitive development theory. Next, Berner studies. With that, Berner studies the John Pidgey's concept of development style study uh, stages of cognition in the classroom. So, kabantay mo ato ka John Pidgey nga discussion is one kanang. John Pidgey discussion is we have the theories he identified the four stages. We have the sensory motors, the pre-operational, and the concrete operational stage. So, dili po na na kuha ni John Pidgey sa iyang activity, sa iyang idea, katunan mga aspects sa cognitive of development. So, his most translated book on the process of education was full of stimulus. How will, you st how will your brain, brain get the idea to the curriculum reform of the, uh, of the period? It, he agreed that a subject can be taught only the child at any stage of development. It is presented in the proper manner. So, karamihan sa other schools or sa other countries, we can assess that some of the curriculum they used are using spiral curriculum because they are focusing on the first part or in, in the elementary. They are need to have a bigger picture or a, a, a something conc a pictures on a real pictures on how they can use it in the future. So, basic lang, like, mga alphabet, tira po na magsuga, na naghinay, hinay, 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 hantod mga, na come up with a good, maka-come up with a good result sa bata. So, what are the modes of, the modes of representation? 
So number one is the inactive representation. So based on the action. So for instance, any inactive uh, representation is you have a cake. Can you cake is now you are discussing the fraction. Can you cake is you are to serve it now zero to one. You are to save it with the students or with your pupils or your kinder spending. So you are to present to them how to slice the cake. So one fourth. So pwede na ni mo ma makita sa ilahan. Maamiyan sila siya. Wow. Kwaon ni mo ang isa. Ipakaon ni mo sa ila, ilahan. So, pila na lang yung nabilin. So, just like that na activity, pwede na nyo magamit. Next is iconic representation. Kaning iconic representation is kwaon. Is seeing a big picture. Maybe you can draw a cake or cut it into form. So, pwede na siya. Dili nga part is you are to draw you draw na ni mo siya. And then, then, you are to cut it into four. So, so sa una, sa inactive is, you are to, kung siya, experience it in the real world, kanang cutting the actual cake, diri is, you are to draw na. The kanang symbolic representation is, when you are now drawing representation and put it in an abstract, in cake, we use a mathematical enumeration, we can learn it right, right words, the symbol to a express it too. So, kaning symbolic is, diri na nato makita nga based on the language. So, putangan na nato meaning. Putangan na nato abstract or meaning ang isa ka kuan. So, diri na mag na ka introduce sa nimong numbers. How can you solve that that numbers? So, the, the years is 7 to 7 onwards. So, again, ang inactive is seeing the real application on the real world, so like one slice to a cake, sa, sa iconic is you are to get the big picture, you are to draw, the draw, dili na siya yung the actual cake, then yun, dito na nini apply ni mo ang, ang steps. Ang last is symbolic representation is the language, put the meaning or the percent and abstract or percent and number that can understand the topic. So, sa ato ay is fraction man. So, dito, mag kung ano kayo, presenta ni mo, saan to ni mo, anong nakuhaan, kung saan to ni mo pag-solve, para makuha ni mo ang exactly na result. Next. So, Berner's work also suggested that learners, even for very young age, is capable of learning in the material, materials as long as the instruction is organized and appropriate. So, can you put in activity is Dapat, as elementary teachers or teachers in the field, is always remember that when you present a discovery or a, a work ni Berners, is dapat sakto yung instructions, sakto yung materials, para ang estudyante maka-present in their long run. So, now let us this a spiral. Spiral. Ma'am, unsan ang spiral? So, this is an example of spiral. So, kabanda yung class is... The spiral is, there is a tumo is gagmay pa. So, magkadako, magkadako, magkataas, magkataas, hantod mabit. So, that, so, magkataas. So, that is the, the, kuan sa spiral. So, diri, the spiral curriculum was proposed by Berner. So, kayo siya is, during sa time, one of the times sa, kuan, sa Singapore is, uh, Singapore is, has the very big impact sa education. Okay, they cut the the Western practice kani magtuon, but they let the students explore. So dapat kung bata pa ka mag explore explore pa juga dili ka magbasa or dili ka you, you you will use your own discovery on how to discuss on how to present the topic. Then let the student enhance on sa ilang na observe on sa ilang nahimo or on sa ilang results sa ilang kwan. So then they they will make the full conclusion. So just like the report. So, according to Brenner, all children are nat naturally curious. So, di ba tanan? Oh, the pupils are always asking, asking questions and a desire to become a competent, competent at various learning tasks. When the tasks are presented to them, it's too difficult. However, they they become bored. So, isa po ni sa kuan, kung kapoy na kay mga sudante is make sure that they are not bored and that there is always an engaging activity. A teacher must therefore present a schoolwork of all levels the challenge but does not overwhelm the child currently development. So, so kung elementary pa, 
you are to focus on the kung na-explore lang po siya, pero di, ayaw lang po kayo pa sobra, eh, kayo pa sigma ma-overwhelm ang ang development stage niya na mag-delete na siya yung nga balance. However, the task is presented within the framework structured intera interaction between the teacher and the child. One that makes us build up the skills that the child has already acquired. Such framework which Bernard referred to scaffolding. So, kapamilyar mo sa scaffolding, kanyang scaffolding is for instance, naging mo umubalay. Then, kabantay mo anak ka ng mga kakoy and asa sa mga dapit para maka add siya sa taas sa taas sa yung balay ko. Second for yung balay para hinluan or para pintalan yung balay. So, that is an example of scaffolding. So, just like the kuan, the, the teacher is the, sca, this is the scaffold and the student will go up para hinahinay or go up para hinahinay siya mag-develop. So, the teacher is the will, will help the student or will instruct will guide the student along the way para to facilitate the learning. So, well, uh, pero the learning process is manageable to me. So, spiral, uh, we have the spiral curriculum is we will visit, um, again, the spiral curriculum is we, we, we now use, we will visit the same unregular interval point of the picture on the topic, increase result to abstract. The learning should connect to the previous topics, but more abstract. So, kani siya kung kuan daw sa spiral curriculum is magsugol ka sa pinaka basic, we have kuan siya ka nang hantod hinahinay maka-increase mahimo to siya abstract so kabante mo sa subjects ninyo karon sa inyong math is ay sa inyong sciences tanan na 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 itay mag chem na itay mag physics na itay mag mag kuan mag mag general science so ang dibuhat ana nila is hinahinay pagka grade 7 lahi nga topic pagka grade 8 is ma ma kuan na din na expose na din mo na taas-taas na ka-increase in yung level of abstract until pag-abot ninyo sa grade 10. So, what, what are the spider approach? The basic facts of the students are learned without worry, worrying the detail. So, as much as possible, when using a spiral approach is focus on the importance, focus on the facts, focus on the kung say tinuod, kung say, kung say magamit nila as a foundation in creating or in going to abstract. Next, target the development of the things and disposition. So, always remember you have your own objectives na kung saan dapat ang i-focus sa mga bata. Um, and also the disposition, asa lang po siya tama. Next, the learner, uh, then this learner progresses more and more details to introduce while the basic is related to the basic. So, again, hinahinay ninyo as you go up, as you go spiral, as magkadako na inyong circle is hinahinay. Dito pa nyo increase ang more details and more kuan. Pero, ayaw kalimot na mabalik sa basic. Another, have the teachers to construct lesson activities of the part kuan. So, kanilang po, one of the burdens of having a, the, this approach reduced is the making a series of activities that the, the students need para makakita jud ang ang um, um, sa mga bata pero karon since some of us we are working sa DepEd is soon we can discuss that the government provide na na tanan eh ay nagani-kita kay the government is providing all the needs that we ought to have to so again so ma'am kung sa may connection ani sa ato ang topic sa EPP so Sa inyong Google Drive, I only already uploaded the things that matters, the things that you need to acquire. Dapat na amoy CG, di ba? Nag-upload ko ato. So, kanyang sa G CG is na siya yung ano yung kasi we have, so we have nilalaman the content, the content standard, the content performance standard, the learning competencies, and the code and the learning objectives. So, kanyang nilalaman is what is your topic, kung saan topic na to. The content standard is what is the need na ma-discuss and the performance the, the performance is unsa man gumagamit sa mga estudyante 
or magamit sa performance, sa skills levels, and the learning competency. So, learning competency is asa lang taman ang kailangan nila. Eh, dapat ma-achieve nila na competency. Kaning learning objective is kamunay mabuhat. Dahil yun, kaning siyang code is makita nila siya dali ra kay nini nyo ma 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 establish kung amo gi pangita ng certain topic for kani siya kani siya na code is EPP 1 ay EPP 4 so grade 4 lesson A1 dayon lesson 3 so kung ipakita na ninyo kung mangita na ibutang na ninyo sa in making a lesson pad ibutang na ninyo sa inyong lesson plan para kung mag-check on teachers is you makorek nila ah, diri nila gikuha na nga activity or nga klase diri nila gi as absorb or diri nila asa nila gikuha so dali na kaayo sa so mag-check sa inyong lesson plan asa nyo gipakuha and always remember that the in making a lesson plan always consider in making the CG na i-connect ninyo sa CG or the curriculum guide karon we are using the max or the most essential learning learning outcome. So one of the things that needed nga you consider is the mind na kaya nasa ng kailangan ng competency in atong a kiter. So, pero we will still continue on using the the curriculum guide para along the way sa future if we ibu po mga graduate mo you can have the idea on how to make a exact lesson plan. So, kaya nga, nakita na nato siya. So, this is a grade 4. Pag elementary na to, is an example. So, elementary. So, we have the basic stretch. I stretch uh, sketching, the shading, and the outlining. So, you, you discuss that in yung grade 4. Pag grade 7 in yung, is ang grade 7 o grade 8 is diba, ang TLE ana ma'am is exploratory. So, kanyang exploratory learnings is pariha rin ang topic either masonry ba ka, carpentry ba ka, parihara na. We have uh, most commonly ang the tools in grade 7 and grade 8 na. Ang pinaka-common gidiscuss dira is ang tools and equipment, ang safety nila, ang work plans, o ang unsaong pagpinta. So, maura dyan yung upat. Ang usually na ginalearn sa explore, exploratory na binasa sa subject na TLE. So, grade 7 o grade 8. Ang pag-abot ni grade 9 o grade 10, diri na dahil ang majoring. Kanin majoring is one of the most important kay human ani, if matrained mo, if you're equipped, pwede mo mo take na po sa test da para maka-apply na dahil. So, perform an industrial arts carpentry. So, you are, you have a create a certain product. So, kanin majoring naman yun eh. Kamun ay bahala asa mo mo kuan. Mo, mo sulod. Mag-cooking ba mo? mag kung ba mo, mag-activity or mag-industrial or mag-computer, mag-ICT so ano, so again sa elementary, so sa elementary is the basic, the basic ang core, dapat makibalo mo so dapat bago mo mo as a 7 is makabalo na mo sa, sa basic stretching sketching, shading, and outlining pag abot ninyo o grade 7 and 8, you are to ipakita, ipadiscuss na sa inyo ang the kuan the, the tools and equipments, the maturation, the working plans, and the practices, safety practices. Dito na pagka-grade then is you already or senior high, na na mo yung specific major that you are to perform a certain products or perform na dahil industrial. So, so ano lang siya? So, kabante mo, it is a process or it is a spiral curriculum na activity. So, Werner also no, uh, known for his idea on learning to discovery, which is a complete essence of con con constructive theory. So, we will discuss that in the next video.